What are some most accepted health myths? All natural implies it's healthy. Pregnant ladies should not exercise. Detox programs face with rolling eyes. Cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. It does not. The food pyramid we were all taught in school. Fat makes you fat. The tide is turning and this isn't as prevalent as it was. But people still believe this to be true. I know most people here are too young for this. But back in the 90s a company called Snackwell introduced a line of fat-free cookies. Suburban moms bought them en masse and we all ate them like crazy. They were loaded with sugar. But hey, no fat. Quote dot. MSG is bad for you. I worked in a lab where we processed samples. One day we get in this small, bright green thing that looks like a rock. It was from inside a young lady's vaginal canal. We were all super shocked and kind of agreed that it was probably a piece of a tampon that got stuck. It was a piece of potato. Apparently, some people think putting a potato in their vagina cures diseases or works as a contraceptive nauseated face. If you shave a lot your hair grows back thicker. Essential oils cure illnesses. Too many people die because of this misconception. Oh, 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 I'm a provider. Here is my most common ones. Being mildly cold in isolation will make you get sick. People, 45 plus, don't need to work out. Let scabs dry out to heal faster. Vastly overstating the effects of turmeric, blueberries, cherries, etc. Pain level has anything to do with injury severity. Believing that tan skin is healthier than pale skin. That diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, hypertension etc. are cured by medicines. Nope just managed. I could go on all day. Chiropractors are legitimate medical professionals akin to MD or do doctors. Addiction is just lack of willpower. Couldn't be further from the truth. Addiction is a very complex physiologic, psychological and psychosocial process. It takes an enormous effort on the afflicted person as well as support from doctors, family, friends and sometimes mental health counselors to overcome. You should wash your chicken before cooking it. If you're buying your chicken from wet markets do it. If you're buying it from grocery stores do not. The only result of washing chicken before cooking is contaminating your kitchen. That you can lose fat on certain body areas with certain exercises. Nothing more stupid than that. As a person in the eating disorder community, I know millions of these myths. Alcohol in small quantities is beneficial to your health. You should cover yourself in blanket and force yourself to sweat when you're sick. So all the sickness leaves your body. Rice protocol rest, ice, compression, and elevation for soft tissue injuries. Even the doctor that came up with it has recanted. HTTPS en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash rice medicine. You can only have an eating disorder if you are underweight. There is such a thing as superfood. No, there is no miracle food that makes you instantly healthy just because suddenly you eat it. You're healthy because of a healthy diet. Not because you eat a fruit that was discovered by a white American doing an expedition in the middle of the Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.